Hello, you're listening to the Teach Mindfulness Podcast. My name is Shamash Haladina, and today we're talking about guiding longer meditations, especially for beginners. So if you're a mindfulness teacher, you've just started, or you've been maybe practicing for some time, just a reminder of a few things to keep in mind when you're guiding beginners, especially in the longer meditations, uh, things like the body scan, uh, and there's many other meditations that can take 30 or 40 minutes, maybe even a bit more. So first of all, if you're doing that, then make sure that there's lots of guidance in your meditation. Uh, if you leave very long gaps for absolute beginners, then their minds are likely to wander off a lot. And of course, that's okay. That's part of what they what, what we need to learn. But as absolute beginners, uh, it's a bit like, you know, trying to go on a long run when you haven't really run much at all or doing loads of really heavy weights in the gym when you haven't even tried going to the gym before. So start slowly and gently so that there's a better chance that as as beginners, they'll have a, a positive experience or at least understand the experience a bit better and understand what to expect. So uh, feel free to give more guidance than you may you, maybe you would for more experienced meditators. So that's the first thing. Secondly, you'll need to remind uh, the beginners both before the meditation and plenty of times in the meditation that it's natural for the mind to wonder and to be kind to the mind. If you've been practicing meditation for a, for a while, you know that that's true and you kind of accept it more. But as absolute beginners, in fact, one of the biggest complaints that I hear is that, oh yeah, I tried meditating, but my mind wanders too much. And so then there's this giving up that happens. Um, again, it's a bit like going, trying to go to the gym, li trying to lift up some weights and they're like, oh no, the weights were too heavy. So I've given up. Uh, it's not about that, is it? So remind them that your mind wonders and uh, both before and then during and to remind them to, you know, you might want to either say, just let it wander and observe and notice or you could use the approach of just gently and kindly acknowledging it and kindly come returning the attention to whatever you're focusing on. Third thing I would say is that uh, remind your students that they are in control of the practice. It may bring up some difficult feelings for, for some people when they're starting out and it's a longer meditation. So make them think that, you know, you're not in control as the teacher, they're in control as the student and so if something doesn't feel right or you, they feel very uncomfortable in some way and they want to stop or they want to focus on something different, that's absolutely fine. That's okay. And that makes them feel a bit more safe and uh, a bit more comfortable in doing the meditation if they know that uh, do what that they, they can do what feels right for them rather than you telling them what to do all the time. And finally, when you come... Uh, eventually to the end of this slightly longer meditation for beginners, give plenty of time for the students to share. Uh, and when you do that, encourage sharing, if you're doing it in a mini group, of not just the pleasant experiences, like they felt calm or peaceful, but also encourage sharings of, oh my God, you know, there's some difficult thoughts came up or difficult feelings. And uh, just that helps to normalize that it won't always uh, feel peaceful and calm at all. We have all sorts of different feelings and uh, a great time to remind your students that the aim is not relaxation. That's a side effect that may sometimes come along, but the aim is, it's, mind, it's called mindfulness, it's not called relaxation. <laughs> so it's about awareness, it's about presence, it's about noticing, it's about being curious. And uh, the relaxation, just whether it comes or not, it's not so much of an issue. Okay, so that's what I wanted to share. Uh, if you'd like to find out more about learning to teach mindfulness with us, check out the website teachmindfulnessonline.com. See you in the next episode.